the people who are separatists who are active there we won't be we won't be hit we won't be killed if we come out to vote okay, it is Rajika not a Kunwal, monopoly yes, I'll come to you in just now, a moment i have to go across to my colleague anand to fir se rujhan badle hain ab kya lag raha hai dekhiye shabd yahi hai rujhan abhi ye rujhan chal rahe hain काउंटिंग चल रही है अभी बहुत बहुत से राउंड बचे हैं और इन राउंड्स में आप देखेंगे आगे जैसे जैसे समय आगे बढ़ेगा कांग्रेस की सरकार बनती हुई आपको नजर आ जाएगी बीजेपी बहुमत के आंकड़े को पार कर चुकी है लगातार ढाई घंटे के रुझान के बाद दिस इज रुझान आप रुझान की बात कर रहे हैं लेकिन जमीन पर जो होगा वो आप देख लेंगे कल आपने बताया था कि करीब 60 से ऊपर सीटें कांग्रेस को आएंगे मगर अभी 36 के आंकड़ों पे कांग्रेस पहुंची वर्तमान में अभी काउंटिंग चल रही है तो क्या उम्मीद है उम्मीद यही है कि सरकार कांग्रेस की बनेगी तो क्या लगता है मैम कि जिस तरह से आपने भी बोला था कि एक दलित और महिला सीएम भी हो सकती हैं तो क्या सी फैक्टर उतना बड़ा एक रोल प्ले किया है कि जिस तरह से नतीजे इस तरह से अभी आ रहे हैं हम सब ने मिलकर ये चुनाव लड़ा है और आगे नतीजे आएंगे उसमें आप देख लेंगे और क्या मुद्दे इस बार के चुनाव में आपके तो बहुत रहे आपसे कई बार हमारी बात हुई हरियाणा के साथ जो भाजपा ने 10 साल सो कॉल्ड डबल इंजन सरकार चलाई लेकिन हरियाणा के लोगों को कुछ मिला नहीं कोई प्रोजेक्ट्स नहीं आए हरियाणा की ओर कोई ध्यान नहीं आया ऐसा लगता था कि कोई नेतृत्व ही नहीं है हरियाणा में सरकार कैसे चल रही है जमीन पर लोग दुखी थे सब लोग दुखी थे तो उसका नतीजा आप देखेंगे तो शाम तक के लिए फिर क्या आप कहेंगे तो मैं भी यही हूँ आप भी यही आइए शाम को मिलेंगे तो सरकार कांग्रेस बना रही सरकार कांग्रेस की बनेगी तो ये थी कांग्रेस के वरिष्ठ नेता कुमारी संजय जिन्होंने साफ तौर से कहा कि ये अभी सिर्फ एक रुझान है और दिन ढलने तक जो है कांग्रेस वापस से वहां पे हरियाणा में सरकार बनाएगी कैमरा पर्सन अजय कटियार के साथ आनंद सिंह न्यूज एक्स दिल्ली कुमारी अगरवाल बैक इन दर्सेशन रोचका अगरवाल यूरकोर्स टॉकिंग अबाउट दर्ली ट्रेंड्स गो है I, I Roshika Agarwal, can you hear me? <laughs> yeah, now I can. Yes. Yes. Rajika What was the question, Agarwal? Devika? Yes, Roshika Agarwal. We've just spoken to Kumari Selja. Uh, despite the early trends, somewhere being in favour of the BJP, which has come as a surprise to everyone as far as Haryana is concerned, Kumari Selja says that the numbers will flip and the Congress Party will come to power uh, in Haryana. How does the BJP view that? Devika, you, we must have, we have, we, we have all seen the kind of, uh, the kind of uh, issues the BJP, the the Congress had internally. There were different fronts that were made. Uh, Buddha ji has a different uh, say altogether. Shailja ji has been continuously, continuously insulted by the uh, by the seniors of the BJP of the of the Congress party and uh, the Huda Congress. so uh, i if you think that uh, this is going to change this is not going to change because the kind of work that haryana in uh, the bjp has done in haryana from so many years and the issues that congress has created and the and the issues that the congress has internally it is going to come out bjp is going to f- uh, uh, come out as a winner you going to see in the uh, in the later half of the day Okay, Rajika Agarwal. We were discussing Jammu and Kashmir uh, before we spoke to Kumari Selja. Coming back to that, as far as the uh, trends of Jammu and Kashmir are concerned, is it going to be enough for the Bharatiya Janata Party to uh, take credit simply for allowing peaceful elections to happen? Absolutely. It is only because BJP, the kind of peace and harmony that BJP has. made sure that jammu kashmir has peace how many people come out to vote it is the clear clear win of uh, the constitution and the rights of the people of the of the general public that they can go come out to vote they can put in their card they, they can put up their opinion they know who to vote and who is going to work for them it at least their people are coming out earlier they used to be just 10% of the voters and the uh, the the vote the party the, the party and the government used to be decided by just those 10% Okay Matthew Anthony uh, your take on that
Uh, I think, you know, we have started seeing elections only from 2024 in Kashmir, or there were elections happening before also. And the numbers are there, and only 10% of Kashmir voted all these while. The people of Jammu and Kashmir has realized what the what the BJP government has promised to them, and it is reflected in the early trends right now. We will speak about the mandate once we finish, because if I uh, I don't want to speak about Jammu and Kashmir as an advantageous situation when I'm speaking about, you know, then you'll have questions on Haryana. So let us see the results by the end of the day. And both these states, we will form the government. And it is a mandate clearly from the people of uh, Jammu and Kashmir and Haryana to the Congress uh, and the India Alliance. So we will, we will leave up to the expectations for the people because this is an experienced government which they have seen. This is an experienced party which they have seen in the past. And now all the promises, you know, all the loud promises which is made by BJP to Jammu and Kashmir, the people have the people have analyzed it and people have put the vote. So what should what more I should say? Because people are the biggest uh, masters in the in the in the democracy. They have put their votes. <coughs> yes, Matthew Anthony, but my question being, <clears throat> as far as this particular election is concerned, or in the past five years since the abrogation of Article 370, the BJP taking credit. Uh, for holding peaceful elections. How does the Congress party view that? See, the BJP has been taking credits from 2014 to for building India. So I, I have no I have no answer to kind of, you know, counter BJP's credit taking uh, uh, addiction because, you know, they have the addiction of taking every credit of everything which they have done in this country. They, they say that, you no know, 2014 before, you know, there was nothing existing in this country. Then now you will say that I'm giving a what about it. So, the question here is whether the people of Jammu and Kashmir has voted for BJP or not. You see it by the results. Let us see it by the evening. You already have some trends. Let's see by the evening which what the see. There is no point in me commenting nor a Congress party commenting at this point of time. We should look for the mandate of the people both in Jammu and Kashmir and in Haryana. What the people have voted for. You will see it in exact numbers. Whether okay. the whether the people of uh, Jammu and Kashmir has trusted BJP or the Congress and the India Alliance. 